Almost 40 years ago, our first guest tonight left the warmth of her native Birmingham, Alabama, to follow her dreams to the mean streets of Hollywood. Yesterday, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and she returns to the role of death-dodging reporter Gail Weathers in Scream 6. It opens in theaters March 10th. Please welcome Courtney Cox. <laughs> That's pretty exciting to get your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I can't believe you didn't have it already. Me too. No, um, it was really exciting. It was, I, I didn't even know how big of a deal it was until I got there and this one uh, reporter said to me, how does it feel that you have a star and to think that Coco's kids will just have it forever and walk on it? And I went like, oh, wow, um, that is beautiful. And yet that means... I'm actually going to die. So <laughs> I like that. There's, there's so many mixed emotions about it. Yeah, it kind of is a little bit of a yeah. headstone, too, isn't it? It's right? like both of those things. Yeah. Coco, of course, is your daughter. Did your fam the whole family come out for this? Did they come back from back home? Um, well, Johnny came out from London. Your boyfriend, John. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh, my sister, Virginia, came out, and my other sister, Dottie. Yeah. Nice. So Very I just, good. My brother didn't, but... Okay, all right, but so you had a pretty good turnout for yes, this I'm, event. Mm -hmm. You, uh, my wife actually was there. I know. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I was not able, I, I know it's only down the block, but I was not able to get there. <laughs> um, but no, I had, I had some things going on. But um, you, uh, my wife comes home last night and she says like, oh my God, you gotta hear what happened there. But will you tell the story about like when you, the time you decided to give up? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Um, well, I, my, my dad thought I should give up, really. What happened was I hadn't worked in a long time, and I only had enough money to live about two weeks. I mean, really eat. Like, that was it. And um, so I was talking to my dad, and he's like, Cece, that's my nickname, you need to come home. You, uh, it's a long fall from Los Angeles to Birmingham, and it's just time to pack it in. And you are a salesman. You're a damn good salesman, and you need to do what you do best. What do you want to sell? Sell swimming pools. Swimming pools. Yep, that's my dad's business. Okay. And by the way, I am pretty good at that. I, so yeah, I would imagine you would be. Yeah. So I mean, I knew I had that as a fallback, but I was like, Dad. And then the next day, I I got a call saying the audition I'd gone on for Family Ties. I got the part as Michael J. Fox's girlfriend for the last two years. Was your dad <laughs> when when you said, "Oh, second uh, change of plans, I'm not coming home"? Was he bummed out that you weren't coming home? No. No, he was excited. He, I mean, he loves me, but he, I mean, he, he maybe missed me, I'm not sure, but he loved Hollywood. He loves movies, and he loves television, anything to do with it. We watched movies every, the same one, Ben-Hur, and um, all those action movies. Um, I forgot, but I can't think of any. Yeah, well, yeah. Just obsessed with, and the same ones over and over. So now you tell this story, and moments later, this happens. I also want to thank my beautiful sisters, Dottie and Virginia, for showing up for me today, flying in here. <clears throat> my mom would have loved this so much, but my dad was obsessed with television. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> wow, if that isn't a message from the pool business above, I don't it know was, what that is. That was, <laughs> was meaningful, but it's true. It's like... You could, uh, one person who is very intuitive and she's really kind of crazily intuitive, she immediately went, that's her father. And I know Molly, she felt it too. It was like, I don't even know if Molly believes in that stuff, but your wife. It's hard to uh, ignore when something like that happens at a moment like that. It really is, yeah. Yeah, but the timing was, well, you saw it. I mean, it was weird. Yeah, it's pretty weird. And who did that water dump onto? Oh, the popper, no. <laughs> uh, right Papa before that. dumped it on the Razzi is what happened, no. yeah. <laughs> Your uh, friends uh, from Friends uh, were at the star ceremony. There's Lisa and Jennifer, and then Laura Dern, who was not one of the cast of Friends, but uh, they spoke on your behalf. And, um, and yeah. guess what? Their stars are so close. Laura is about 10 feet from Jennifer, and I'm about 20 feet from them. Yeah, well, that's nice to yes. be in that neighborhood. So yeah. Sweet. Okay, so uh, the Scream, this is the sixth Scream movie, yeah. hence the title Scream Six. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> ever think about calling it still screaming or anything like that? I mean, it's a good Scream idea. Scream on, yeah. anything, no? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I, we when should. you were reading one of these scripts, because I think, like, um, I don't know, most everybody who was in the other movies is dead, right? Killed by the, you know, the guy, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. this new relaunch, there are, t uh, there were four people that made, well, not me, I made it too, five. Five people that made it from the last one. Okay. Um, and then they brought back Kirby, Hayden Panettiere. Uh-huh. Um, I, I actually thought she died. I don't even know what scream that was. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> when you well, do this many, you can't keep up. Yeah, also on the show Heroes, her character died over and over again, but kept coming back to life. Okay. Yeah, well. so that's probably what's confusing you. <laughs> um, do you go through, when you get the script, and I assume they send you the script, it's all done, right? Mm -hmm. Do you go through and skip to quickly to see if you're dying in the script? Absolutely. You do? First okay. thing you do is just, did you make it? Um, yeah, the thing is, is that I can't say whether I live or die. And I love asking people, what do you think happens to Gail? And people are so certain. Um, but I don't really read after my character is not in the script, whether she lives or dies. I don't really want to know what happens, so I don't read it. And then I get to go on the set and go, hmm. Are you just being a good actor? Or are you good at acting to be an actor? Like, you can't tell that you don't know what I mean. Is that like, a normal thing to do? I, <laughs> all right, I don't always do that. I do read uh -huh. <laughs> all the time. I take my work seriously. But it's really fun to go see the movie and not have any idea. Yeah, sure, but unless you're in it, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's our, you know, that's, that's like our thing. And then yeah. your thing is being in it, yeah. yeah well, probably. we have a clip from the movie. And okay. uh, wait, wait till you see this. <laughs> Just like you're not going to be able to stop this. Is it fun to shoot something like that? Yeah, I wonder what happened. Was that cast iron? <laughs> um, was that a real cast iron pan? Uh, no. No, okay. okay. All right. It was heavy though. I, you know, it's so weird. They have these knives, and yeah, of course they're not real. It's too dangerous. But I'm like, dude, that's not retractable. He's still stabbing his. They're still I'm knives. Like, yeah. I know it hurt no matter what. Yeah, they're relatively dangerous no matter what they tell you. Are they, are they really are. Never listen to yeah. anybody. Really. If I hit you in the head with even a big rubber, it, it's gonna hurt. Please don't do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you um, you know, my wife is your number one customer at uh, with your uh, candles and your soap and your lotions and all this whatever stuff you have She's there. So sweet. Uh, yeah. With your home court products, and it, well, this is kind of exciting. We found this baby. Uh, not really, we didn't find a baby, but we have a, <laughs> there's a baby on TikTok who smells candles. This baby's name is Sunday. She smells candles and then she instantly reviews them. She decides whether she likes the, well, show the baby. Here we go. Okay. Are, you, are you ready to smell some candles? Yes. Okay. Do you like this? No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so this is a very cute baby, obviously. What we did is we sent her your for your candles, OK? So, and we asked her, would you like to see Sunday's review of your candles? Well, let me ask you, does she, like, once she says no, does it go out of business? <laughs> I can't imagine it's good for the candles. This is, uh, this is the most- How many followers does she have? This is the most powerful <laughs> baby in the candle industry. Okay. She could literally ruin you. But I promise this is not set up. These are the baby's real reactions. We didn't collude with the baby, all right? <laughs> First candle is this one called Steeped Rose. All right. Hi, Amy. Hi. This was... Yes. Yes? Yes! <laughs> Steve Rose. That's a winner. The next one is called Neroli Leaf. Okay. What's a Neroli Leaf? It's an orange blossom. Sounds like weed. <laughs> what else? You got some candles? Yes. 
Yes, oh, you wow. got a yes. Okay. You're two for two so wait, far. Wait, did she say what else? That was a, like a maybe. I think what else is she just wants to keep the candles coming. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's is. busy. Got Next it. Next one is uh, Cypress Mint or Cypress. Cypress. It's just a nice way to. <laughs> It was spelled C I P R E S. No, no, you're right. It's just that it sounds better. Did the better. baby spell these too? <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, here you go. Uh oh. Yes. No. No, no. no. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Courtney. You get an upside down candle for that. And finally, uh, your nickname, Cece. Here we go. Cece. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that is very definitive. You know what would be funny? We should get that baby and smell the diaper and then give her the yes or no. <laughs> All right, when we come back, we have something very special. I know you're very sporty. We saw you running around in the Scream movie. I know you like sports. I know you like to compete. When we come back, we're going to play. This is a real game. It's a real sport. It's televised and everything. It's called Extreme Indoor Balloon. And we come back, Cox versus Kimmel ballooning. We'll be right back. <laughs> 